Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to have some more fun with trains. I know you guys love trains. Uh, I'm here in Shenzhen currently in the subway, in the metro, the DTA. And I'm going to take this to the Gaotie, which is the high speed rail, and go to Hong Kong and uh, have a little public transportation infrastructure day. Shenzhen, Hong Kong, Hong Kong, back to Shenzhen, and just show you what it's like along the way. And if you have yet to see my video covering China's metro system and why it is so great and so convenient, the link for that is in the description. I highly encourage you to watch it. Consider that video just theory and this one practical. All right, so I just got out of the station, uh, Futian metro station, Jian. And it cost me about five RMB to get all the way halfway across town to downtown uh, Shenzhen. Five RMB is uh, less than a dollar, probably like 80 cents. And then next stop is Putian uh, Railway Station. And we're gonna take the high speed rail directly into Hong Kong. You might be asking yourself, Eric, why are you going to Hong Kong today? Just to show us this beautiful infrastructure, these trains? And I'll say, no, no, because actually, I'm going to uh, Hong Kong today because I want to go watch Barbenheimer and that's not possible in China, in mainland China, let's say, because Oppenheimer did not get a release in China. Oppenheimer, uh, for whatever reason, maybe didn't pass the censor, or didn't apply, I don't know. But uh, that is one negative about living in China. I don't watch a lot of movies, mainly because the best movie ever made came out like 25 years ago and it's never been topped and probably never will be topped and we all know that movie is Ghost Dog The Way of the Samurai starring Forrest Whitaker and directed by Jim Jarmusch. So I'm sure Oppenheimer and Barbie are not going to be quite as good as Ghost Dog and the great thing about the infrastructure here, the public transit, is you can do that. You can just cross the border very, very easily, spend a day in Hong Kong and then get back to mainland China where you can enjoy censorship of film. <laughs> if that's your thing. Of course, as always, you can see everything is very clearly marked Chinese and English. You got DTA, the metro, you got the high-speed rail. You even got a Starbucks over there. Unfortunately, unlike the subway, in China, if you want to buy a high-speed rail ticket, you have to go to a ticket window if you are a foreigner. If you don't have a Chinese ID, you cannot use the automated ticket machines. Okay, okay, now they're just showing off trilingual. So this is Fu Tian High Speed Railway Station. There's only like four platforms. There's not a lot of trains that come here. Mostly they go to like Guangzhou, Foshan, I think, uh, and Hong Kong. Not too many trains because there's actually a couple of other train stations in Shenzhen. Probably the biggest one is Shenzhen Bay, uh, where they have tons of platforms and high speed rail all across the country. Um, but here's more like a local high speed rail and uh, quite small station, as you can see. row after row of massage chair. If you plan on taking the high-speed rail from Shenzhen to Hong Kong or vice versa, you should know that it departs very frequently and then you will probably have no problem buying a ticket on the day of departure. However, if it is a public holiday or some other special event, you definitely need to plan ahead. In fact, I highly, highly discourage you from traveling in China or to China during public holidays because it probably will not be a very fun time. A one-way ticket will cost you about $12 and the travel time is about 14 minutes and you will arrive in Hong Kong at West Kowloon Station. Here you will clear customs and I apologize there's no video here because hey, it's a border control point, you're not supposed to film. There are a lot of ways to get from Shenzhen to Hong Kong. There's multiple ports of entry. You can take the train, the, the subway, the high-speed rail. You can take the bus. You can take the ferry. Um, theoretically, the high-speed rail would be the fastest, uh, but it also kind of depends on your location around Shenzhen and uh, time of the train ticket, all that sort of thing. So typically, I wouldn't take the high-speed rail. I would just take a bus. It's a lot faster for me, but I wanted to show you guys the train, metro, to high-speed rail, and I'm not sure where I'm going now, but I want to pop up and get some some food and then go see Barbenheimer. If you, like me, sat through both Barbie and Oppenheimer during one full very long day, I gotta say, you have a lot of stamina and congratulations. If you did that, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about this combination of movies, sitting through them, 
and uh, and just watching five hours of movies in a day because that's definitely not something I do very often. I suppose if you made it this far, you're interested in hearing my thoughts on the two films. I gotta say that I thought Barbie was a lot funnier than Oppenheimer and Oppenheimer was probably a better movie. I mean, they're very different. I'm not a critic here. Oppenheimer was very depressing, especially the ending. Wh what else is there to say about these films? Um, Barbie, I thought that the message about how men suck and women are the best and they can do anything they want was thought it was very appealing to me as a white cis hetero woke mind virus kind of simp that i am so i appreciated that barbie really put me down and put me in my place and showed women that they can be anything they want to be even if it just means being a stereotype it's all good anybody can be anything i support that message and uh, Oppenheimer, I guess, also anybody can be anything, including a mass murderer, genocidal freak like uh, President Truman. <laughs> you know, I'm not a movie reviewer. Anyway, they were fun. What do you guys think? On the return trip to Shenzhen, I opted not to take the high-speed rail and instead took the subway. As you may know, the subways are essentially connected between Shenzhen and Hong Kong. Of course, you have to get off the Hong Kong metro, cross the border at a checkpoint, and then get on the Shenzhen metro. But it's very easy, very short walk, very quick and efficient. There were quite a few comments on the video I made about the Chinese metro system that said, Hong Kong's is just as good, if not better. I do have a few things to say about that. Of course, the Hong Kong metro is older than Shenzhen, so it's hard to directly compare the two. However, some stations in Hong Kong do not have safety barriers on the platform. That's one strike against the Hong Kong metro. For me to travel from the East Semta Tui station to the Futian checkpoint, AKA in Hong Kong side, Lok Ma Chao, that was about 45 Hong Kong dollars, which equates to about six US dollars, roughly, more or less. So the subway is quite a bit more expensive and it lacks some of the safety features that stations in mainland China do all have. Aside from that, of course, the Hong Kong Metro is obviously very, very good. And I love to take it because if I'm taking the Hong Kong Metro, that means I'm in Hong Kong, which is always a good place to be. Uh, pardon my Cantonese, but this is a Lokma Lakma Chao, Lakma Chao, Wang Chao, Lakma Chao um, checkpoint on this side, and the other side is Futian checkpoint. And so we're traveling across the border here in Shenzhen and Hong Kong. You have to choose wisely your port of entry because not all of them are open late into the night. This one's here open till 10:30, and it's 10 p.m. right now. Uh, one of them stays open 24 hours. So if you are a late night traveler, definitely go to that one. I think it's Huang Gang. I'm not entirely sure. I usually don't spend all night traveling across the border. Um, yeah, so. And that about wraps it up. That's the end. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a little bit of something about traveling using public transit and public infrastructure here in China and in Hong Kong today. Like I said, there are multiple ways to cross the border. I usually just take a bus from Nanshan, the district I live in, in Shenzhen. It's much much faster, much more convenient. Uh, a little pricey, about 100 RMB to cross, and to get you down into Kowloon. So that's about 16 bucks. It's actually more expensive than the high-speed rail. However, eh, it's more convenient. You save a lot of time because you don't have to move all the way across Shenzhen to get to the high-speed rail station, and you also don't have to take the subway all the way across Shenzhen if you want to cross via subway. Of course, there's also the ferry that you can take. There's other ways to get across too. Uh, those are the main ones, the main public ones. Of course, you could always drive, you can hire a van. There's tons of different ways to get across, like I said. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed watching Barbenheimer as much as I did. And uh, take care, take it easy. Subscribe if you want. If you don't, that's okay. Do whatever you want. You know me. I'm pretty chill. Enjoy. Bye-bye.